I am uh, Dr. Paul Dewey with uh, Dr. Amit Goswami, uh, and he will be lecturing on the quantum biology course from his book, uh, Creative Evolution. Uh, this is one of the foundation in the curriculum of our, of our program. Why? Because if you understand uh, evolution, if you understand genetics, it's also a window how you heal. And as we know, the model of Darwinism uh, defined by Western medicine is very limitative and has a lot of, uh, uh, I would say, defect that, uh, will, yes, uh, that defect. Will, you will explain uh, along the course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like you to comment about your, the, the program, Dr. Gonsomi. Well, uh, the program is based on the new understanding that the quantum worldview is bringing to us. Quantum worldview is the, should be the basis of all of our education. Unfortunately, Newtonian worldview holds on because of a faulty philosophy that most scientists still continue on called scientific materialism. Everything is based on matter. And in this view, really medicine, this whole idea that medicine about, is about establishing wholeness uh, gets shortchanged. It becomes a treatment of disease instead. So we at the Quantum University of Integrative Medicine try to bring back the holistic aspect of medicine, that it is about regaining wholeness. And for that, we need a worldview which also has the holistic aspect. Not and, mm -hmm. and, and creativity is uh, very important. Creativity is very uh, important. Of the, to understand evolution, because there is, if you don't have creativity, uh, you, you hit some door, like uh, the fossil gaps and others exactly. that uh, can, cannot be explained. Yeah, exactly, and Darwinism is based on Newtonian physics. It's devoid of the idea of creativity. It, it takes the view that uh, just Newtonian uh, forces, Newtonian causes, namely uh, something to give you certain variations that becomes hereditary that those, and nature selects among those variations because, of course, the environment changes through geological times, that's a fact. And nature should select something that is also a fact. Based on these expectations and the fact that genes do exist and they do produce a variation for nature to choose from, Darwin has made a plausible theory. The defect of the theory, correctly, of course, is that it doesn't agree with the experiment. And that part is also good because now we know that Darwin had a reason, plausible theory, but it does not accurately describe what is. And so you have to find a new theory. What the theory, uh, new theory is, is based on creativity. Again, there is stasis and there is change. Entropy law dominates the universe. The protection against entropy law is two. You have to have very good power of stasis, or you have to have very good power of making creative changes. Quantum physics gives us both. And we find that nature has both too. There are some species which manages against the entropy law by having enormous amount of inertia, durability. They continue on and on in the same stasis. So the vision, the vision of his evolution changed totally from Completely. one which is based on survival of the fitness, the other one is uh, to, to find to evolution more uh, complex representation. Yes, and then the fact is that the way to fight against the entropy law is to be creative. That's the best way of fighting the entropy law. And uh, creative evolution does that. Does uh, natural selection or adaptability have anything to do with evolution? Yes, it does. It has to do with it's part of the creative evolution in the manifestation stage of creativity. Indeed, the natural selection aspect, survival aspect, does enter. So we're not throwing away Darwin's thinking entirely. I don't believe in throwing away anything, you know, but we are creating much more holistic view of life and evolution. We finally, we are understanding what biology is about, and it is more than the material body. It's also about feelings, it's about our ability to process meaning, even the intuitive values, like love, which is very important for healing. As, as a healer, you know. And we have been throwing it So away. it's about integration. It's about integration. And, and uh, whole, wholeness, integration of higher quality. Yes. And this is where fit uh, other models of, also of medicine, like uh, Ayurvedic medicine and Taoist medicine, where already they have aimed to treat 
you know, qualities associated with chakras and organs. Yes. yes. So we we are uh, looking at another model of uh, evolution, which is has much more dimension. Yes. Dimension based uh, that is not uh, just limit on 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 a, on a model where that can understand adaptation, but go more further than that. And also, it, it, it defines the job of the physician much better. What the physician too needs to have certain qualities in order to heal. It makes it very clear what the physician is to develop. It makes it very clear what the patient-doctor relationship should be like. It just is more, look, quantum physics is a better rendition of reality and therefore naturally biology and medicine based on the quantum worldview would also be a better rendition of reality. What actually takes place in disease and healing, what actually takes place is much more important than our belief systems that matter is everything. And so I hope physicians are ready to give up that short jacketed, straight jacketed belief system and take what is as what is. Yeah, when they start to understand the, the, the vision that uh, create this uh, creative evolution. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Amit Goswami. And uh, I invite uh, everybody to this uh, quantum biology course. Thank you. Find out more and enroll in a degree program today at quantumuniversity.com.